Uh, Roger, a copy uh, AC3EA and uh, located in Maryland. Was that a Roger? No, no, negative. Uh, Alpha Charlie 3 Echo Oscar. Uh, AC3EO. Uh, back here. EO, Roger, Roger. And what's your location again? Yeah, location again is Baltimore, Maryland. Over. Uh, Roger, Maryland. Got you there. Alrighty, uh, we are, uh, the name here is Jim Juliet India Mike, and uh, we're located uh, near Louisville, Kentucky, and uh, we're kind of uh, doing a little uh, test here. Um, we've uh, got our 7300 cut into our house audio system. We're running uh, two radios. Uh, uh, one radio is on a, uh, this one is, uh, the transmitter right today is a 7300, and uh, we're, um, using a, a dipole antenna on it and we're also monitoring um, with another radio uh, running uh, two 10-foot uh, uh, magnetic loop antennas. Roger. Roger, Roger. Uh, very good. Um, the, uh, uh, that's, that's, that's interesting what you got going on there. I, uh, yeah, I didn't know um, that was kind of like a thing with the uh, um, uh, you can have, like, going through your house audio. I, I didn't know that you could do that. Um, so my rig here is a Racer FPGX 101 MP. Uh, currently I'm running 100 watts. I'm using Alpha Delta, the FPG thing that I'm holding. It's probably about 25, 30 feet right at the moment. I got the, uh, the mask about halfway down. Uh, so I can, I can run the mask up to about 50 feet, but, um, Last fall, it was just kind of windy out. Didn't really want to uh, chance anything or have anything come crashing down. So I kind of lowered it down halfway for the winter. And uh, come the spring, I, I plan on getting back out there, raising it back up uh, all the way up to 150 feet. I mean, not 150 feet, I'm sorry, up to 50 feet. And um, kind of get things going there. Right, back to you. Uh, Roger, so what uh, height is your antenna at the moment? Well, currently it's kind of sloped in a way. Um, I have a tree which one of the ends are in, and that's probably about 40 feet. Um, the center point is on a mast, which is about 25 feet, and the other end is about 10 to 12 feet off the ground. Um, so we're kind of sloping, to, uh, sloping a little bit. Over. Oh, roger that, roger that. Well, your signal's uh, kind of in and out uh, when it's uh, uh, good. When it's in, it's uh, about 5 dB above my noise level, and then it will uh, slide down uh, into my noise uh, just a little bit. Uh, we're running right out of KW, and uh, I'll show you the uh, difference here. This is the KW, and this is uh, barefoot. This is uh, barefoot 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, that is... Back to the KW, Roger. Oh, Roger, Roger. Uh, so, from what I saw when you went down to uh, Barefoot, you're an S8, and with the uh, <coughs> excuse me, with the uh, with the KW, you're about 10 over. Uh, I just bumped it up a little bit. Um, now I'm at like 200 watts, and hopefully this is a little bit better for you. Uh, Roger that, Roger that. Well, I go, you know, full tilt, whatever it is, you know, uh, the, the, you know, uh, best foot forward uh, kind of thing. Uh, we usually run the QSO Vlog network on this frequency uh, on uh, Friday uh, afternoons between 3.30 and 5. And right now we're just uh, testing out a, um, a, a sub power supply for the um, 7300, um, which is uh, basically a... Um, a battery, uh, three three batteries, uh, and we're just trying to figure out if uh, they will run for an hour and a half, uh, half duty cycle, uh, without uh, losing too much uh, uh, capability on the power supply. Roger. Oh, Roger, Roger. Yeah, I, eventually I want to get into a little bit of stuff like that, and the reason being is I I want to mess with some solar stuff, and um, maybe even do parts on the air at some point. 
but um, I'm, I'm actually rather new to I've, I've been sort of, I should say. Uh, I've been doing this now for about three years, and um, in that amount of time, I've, I've done a lot. Uh, I haven't quite done everything, so um, I, uh, about a year ago, I got my extra class license. So, um, and it was kind of interesting how I even came about that. I, I, uh, I've been learning CW and I've been getting pretty good with it and everything. And I, uh, was going back from CW on 80 meters. And of course I had to cross over the extra portion. I heard a really interesting conversation. So I just kind of stopped and was listening for a while and went and, you know, grabbed a snacks or something, came back up here and forgot where I was and uh, jumped in on the conversation and was like, oh no, I can never allow that to happen again. So, you know, being a general in an extra portion. So I was like, all right, that's it. Nope, can't have it happen ever again. So went and got the extra ticket and I'm um, glad that's kind of out of the way. And uh, now um, pretty much just been messing around with a lot of FT8 and CW and uh, a little bit of voice here and there. And uh, my, my girlfriend, she just got into all this as well. I'm really proud of her. Like, I didn't ask her to get into it or at all. She just, she just I, I don't know, I guess she saw the CW stuff and she thought that was really interesting and decided to get her ticket. So that's, that's more power to her. That was really awesome. Uh, back to you, KC9 VKV from AC3EO. Roger, Roger. Well, uh, now, are you saying that she is uh, um, an amateur radio operator? Now, is she a, a general class or, or what? Well, she had literally just got it, like, maybe a month ago. So this is her very first go, and she just got a technician. So uh, she's still got a little ways to go. But I told her, I was like, you know, with... Uh, with with your privileges now, you can get on HF if, if you're serious about the whole Morse code thing. And and she seemed to show interest in it. Like, she actually knows the alphabet, and she just needs a little bit more practice on the receiving side. So, um, you know, because she's got that little portion on, uh, what's that, 80, 40, and I believe, what, 15 that she can mess around with just a little bit. But I'm um, hoping that this, uh, this, Spring slash uh, summer, she'll end up going and getting her general over. Roger, Roger. Well, she could do um, she could do phone on uh, ten meters. Yeah, yeah, she can definitely do phone on ten meters, and uh, you know, I don't think she's really interested in phone though. Um, it, it's funny to me. Like, I don't, I don't get it. I guess, I guess because of her being a girl or whatever, I guess she doesn't really want her voice. Like, like I don't know. I, I think she just. Mike Shy. It might not be that. It might not be the fact that she's doesn't like talking so much like that. I think it might be that she's just a little, little bit Mike Shy. Oh, Roger, Roger. Your signal does now come up to uh, ten over uh, ten dB over my noise level. Uh, I can't give you a real estimated reading, but I can give you. Uh, I'm looking at your audio on a view meter, and uh, so I've got your audio set for zero. And when you see speaking, then I see the um, residual noise level, and it's uh, like 10 dB below your peaks. So uh, just say you're 10 over, and and that uh, corresponds pretty close to an actual estimator reading, Roger. Yeah, Roger, Roger, and uh, I have you as a S9 plus 10. Um, yeah, you're 10 over for sure. Yeah, you're coming in good. Uh, I, I like that, uh, that 90, uh, 70, 7300. That, uh, my buddy's got one of those. And uh, I almost opted for it, too, but I, I had a couple extra dollars come my way. I was, you know what? I, I, I pulled the trigger on this other one here, and I, I'm glad I did. Um, I, I plan on this being, like, my forever radio, so. Um, well, you know, for a good long while, anyway. Probably not 10 years. And, uh, I'm really, really liking this Roger, Roger. I'm copying you now on the uh, my uh, 990, which is uh, hooked up to my two 10-foot um, uh, vertical magnetic loop antennas, and uh, they uh, have a co-phase option, and I'm on the co-phase option, which is about 3 dB hotter than uh, either one of those uh, mag loops by themselves, Roger. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm not. I haven't 
really nothing for too much of that kind of stuff, so I'm not exactly sure what you're talking about. Um, I had someone calling me on another radio one moment. Uh, KC9 BKV uh, from AC3EO. I'm going to have to run. Um, it was great talking with you, though. Uh, hopefully I can get you on the log. Uh, Roger that. Three's up that way, sir. And, and Give me your name. I never got your name. Oh, sorry about that. Name here is David. Um, and uh, friends call me Dave. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I catch you on the log there. And uh, Jim and, um, you know. It was great talking with you. Was, uh, definitely some cool projects. Sounds like you got going on there. So uh, seven three, and I'll catch you later. KC nine VKV from AC three. I mean, yeah, from AC three EO seven three. Roger, Roger, David. If you get a chance, uh, we'll be uh, with our QSO VLOG net on uh, Friday afternoon on this frequency between 3.30 and 5. We record the whole thing and then uh, post it up on YouTube. Matter of fact, we are recording now. Uh, if uh, you would like to hear your audio, if you go to YouTube and do a call letter search for Kilo Charlie 9, Victor Kilo Victor, that will take you to our QSO VLOG page. Right now we're running about 970 some odd uh, QSO so air checks. Uh, this one uh, in the title will have the date. Uh, I usually run a slate board, but uh, this is uh, kind of a test transmission, so uh, we'll just have uh, uh, will be called QSO VLOG, and then today's date, which is uh, 22420. So that will be in the uh, title for the uh, uh, the QSO recording. Roger. So uh, three is there, David, and have yourself a, a good afternoon and a most pleasant evening. Uh, this is uh, Kilo Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo Victor. Kilo Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo Victor. This is KC4, ZGT in Georgia. Good afternoon, Jim. Uh, good afternoon. Now, uh, now I know the voice, but what's the call again? Uh, it's Kilo Charlie 4, Zulu Golf. Papa, I took your advice you gave to a gentleman last week. Uh, what, <laughs> what, what, what had that advice been? <laughs> I knew that'd get a rise out. Yeah, last week you were talking to a gentleman. I think it was Tuesday, and you said that the speakers in these transceivers miss about the first 300 hertz. I got looking at the FK-91, yeah, it's got a little two and a quarter inch speaker in it, and a man's voice, like yours and mine, sounds very kind of cramped. So what I got out was my handy dandy SC-150 communication speaker, uh, matching speaker for my DX-160, which I still have, and it still works, I'll be darned. And hooked it up, and yes, your voice sounds more volume. Uh, has, it's fuller, it sounds more like a human voice instead of this high-powered twangy coming out of the speaker of the FT-891. I just think I'm going to find me a bigger speaker, the bigger the better. I figure, a, you know, a speaker can uh, act like an antenna of sorts, principles are there. The bigger the speaker, the wider, the bigger the frequency. Now, the lower the frequency it handles. Back to you. This is Tim, Warner Robins, Georgia, KC4 CGP. Roger, Roger, Tim. Now, now that is generally true about the speaker size, that you know, making the difference there. But what you're really looking for is a full range, full fidelity audio system. I mean, that's where. HF radio really just sounds marvelous. And I'll tell you what, uh, if you go down to your local um, Walmart, they have a 2.1 monitor, uh, monitor system, uh, speaker system, for like 32 or 35 bucks. This thing is just amazing. It's a 50-watt RMS, 25, 50-watt uh, 
uh, peak uh, 25 watt RMS, I guess, system that, uh, you know, it's a 2.1, so it has two wing speakers and one subwoofer. Now, the subwoofer is capable of going down to about 40 or 50 cycles, but you have to be sure that it's calibrated with the two other speakers. So what you do is, uh, you know, this is a, a you know, a hi-fi speaker system, so you just pump a little good music into it, and you adjust that subwoofer to where the, the bass is balanced with the two uh, wing speakers. And that system is now flat from like, well, not flat, but not probably absolutely flat, but very near flat from uh, 40 cycles on up to, uh, you know, 15, 16 KC. And that is just one heck of a system for, you know, like 32, 35 bucks. I mean, it's, it's uh, full range, so you get the whole uh, HF audio. And, and, you know, like folks uh, running uh, modern radios, man, uh, you know, it's just uh, beautiful. You just you plug into that speaker out, and uh, there you go. Hey, this is at Walmart. It's a call to what, a 2.1? I, I got 2.1, $35. What is it again? It's a speaker system. It's a monitor speaker system. It's, uh, you know, they call it 50 watts, but it's really uh, 25 watts uh, RMS, brute force, you know. And it has uh, three speakers, uh, two side speakers, left and right, and then a subwoofer. And uh, that subwoofer makes it uh, uh, capable of uh, extremely low frequencies, uh, like around 40, uh, 50 cycles, which uh, a normal two-way system isn't going to be anywhere near that depth as far as frequency response, right? Roger. Oh, okay. I was over at Walmart looking at all that stuff. I'm thinking, no, I'm, I'm looking for a speaker, just a plain old 8-inch uh, paper cone speaker. They don't make them anymore, I guess. Uh, yeah, you're right. A lot of these systems, I think these um, sound bars, I think I saw too, for uh, entertainment systems, they probably have that frequency response way down there too. But uh, they're uh, got a, <laughs> they cost a quite a bit of money. I'm thinking... I really don't need to put that much money into something, a sideband voice signal isn't all that great in the first place, but it can be improved or it's pretty good, and you're sounding pretty good now in just this little, I would think it's a 3x5 uh, speaker. Must be, uh, what's that, I bought this radio, the, uh, uh, the DX-160, I bought it back in 75. Oh boy, that was after my, uh, was after I bought my, uh, built my uh, three transistor regenerative shortwave receiver. I, I got tired of that, and tired of the earphones. So I want that one. I bought it because I had a part-time job back then, and I had saved up for it. This is KC4 ZGT Euro, about uh, S9 over 20, by the way. Uh, Roger, Tim. Roger, Tim. Well, you know, the thing about HF, it uh, it's the better speed monitor system you have the better HF sounds particularly with the newer radios that are uh, capable of uh, you know like uh, 100 cycle uh, transmission uh, down to 100 cycles and uh, if they're balanced then they're going to be f pretty full up in the um, you know higher registers 2.5k 2.6 2.8 2.9 so you get a, start to get a, a pretty uh, rounded uh, audio system capability, you know, and, and uh, then so when you have a receiver and you're, you're capable of hearing that uh, receiver, not with a speaker inside the receiver, but uh, outboard uh, uh, monitor system that's very, f very f flat from 100 cycles on up or, or actually uh, uh, maybe 40 cycles on up, there are those lower frequency overtones that you're just not going to capture uh, probably without a two, at least a 2.1 system with a subwoofer, Roger. All righty, you're speaking a lot of that uh, audio engineer language, I reckon. I catch most of it. Um, yeah, the bigger the speaker, the, the deeper the sounds will be. I, I'm going to stick with that. But, yeah, you're sounding pretty good. Oh, and I, I listened to the uh, recording back in, um, on a 2.20... Was it a few days ago? It was last Thursday. I listened to my uh, voice on that again. Yeah, boy, I'm. Uh, I got a lot more volume to it. <laughs> I'm so glad. Uh, oh boy. Yeah. Still on this old little MH31 microphone. Still on this little old dynamic thing. Ah, uh, I don't know. Maybe I will get one of them fancy pants uh, microphones. I don't know. 
All righty. Well, Jim, I'm going to back out of here for a moment. The, lady, the wife is headed to the dentist. She has, well, her bottom plate broke, and they've been working on that for the last several months. So now she's off to go see the dentist to go get her teeth again. They keep doing refits, finer and finer fits. Oh, boy, I tell you. Huh? <laughs> I, I just brush every day, I guess. That helps. Let's see what else we got. But yeah, I, I'm gonna have to find so I'm gonna go to Walmart then and, and look that what's it? Thirty five dollars. But is there a brand name for the system you speak? Oh, there is, but I don't know what it is. But uh, I think they only have uh, one. Uh, it, it's a it's a monitor system that's a 2.1. It's a classified as a 2.1. Two, point one. two uh, uh, wing speakers plus a subwoofer. So it's a three speaker set. It's uh, 50 watts. They show 50 watts. That's uh, uh, you know not uh, RMS. It's probably about a 25 watt RMS system, but uh, plenty enough to get a full room uh, for what you're monitoring. And, the, you know, you just have to, to get it home, set it up, then play some music through it, some good music, nice, clean, you know, maybe FM music or something, and adjust that subwoofer to where it seems balanced with the other, uh, you know, two speakers. So it's not real heavy, but yet you, you know, you can place that bass right there where, you know, it's uh, obvious that it probably needs to be right about there. And uh, so you're pretty close to uh, perfection there, and you'll just be amazed at the audio quality that uh, folks are transmitting these days. Oh, okay, good. Very good. Yep, I can keep them proving. You know, I, I guess the three speakers, I got to hang them up in the room here, on the wall here, and fill the room with ham radio sound. Or, or I suggested once to my XYL that I would just uh, run cables out to the living room onto the, the Spec 1, Spec 2 Pioneer audio system I bought in Japan many, many years ago, and I have a whole house filled with ham radio communication. <laughs> uh, she still isn't talking to me yet. <laughs> I, I know it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, we hams are. It's a good idea, dear. It really is. Uh, and uh, they uh, they let us know it is not. Alrighty, Jim, I shall head out for a while. I'm going to listen on the radio. I may be back on in about 20 minutes. So uh, you take care, Jim. 73, see so you and your family. Be safe, man, be safe. And I'm so I'm, I'm liking these voice QSO so much more than that digital JS8 anymore because I'm I'm actually getting the system that's working well. You know, I, I really didn't care for voice much because it always sounded so terrible. But then now, since you uh, hell well, you kind of didn't tell me, but I heard you say bigger speakers are better sound. And that makes the QSO all that more and more enjoyable, and you can actually really understand the person. All righty, Jim. I will say 73s. Be safe, man. I'll see you probably about 10, 20 minutes. This is KC4, ZGP. Bye-bye, KC9, BKV. Roger, Roger, Tim. Well, yeah, today we're checking out our 7300 as the transmitter. Uh, till now, we've been using the 990 as the transmitter, so today it's uh, pretty much uh, the first day for the uh, 7300. And our actual uh, uh, test today is uh, can the power supply uh, last for an hour and a half? <laughs> we shall see. It's a three-battery uh, three uh, situation, so uh, I would think it's going to last. just depends on how much it gets topped off as to uh, what the uh, actual uh, capabilities of the 7300 were. Well, anyway, uh, Threes, Tim, we'll catch you later, man. Uh, hopefully either later tonight, today, or uh, on uh, Friday uh, when we do our normal uh, QSO vlog from 3.30 to 5. Threes, Tim, catch you later. This is uh, KC9VKV.